happening now. We're learning more about the case of a man who was arrested, accused of assaulting a woman he met on a dating app. We broke the news last night when the suspect, Chan Young Mounts, was booked into jail. Last night, police said there could be other victims out there and additional charges could be filed. Today, we heard from a woman who says she's one of those other victims, and she told us she wanted to go on camera to protect other women and encourage others to come forward. News for San Antonio's Ethan Trejo has her story. This whole time, like, I'm freaking out internally. I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, how am I going to get out of this situation? Janitria Sedlock wanted us to hear her story about how she was victimized by a man she met on Tinder. Chang Yen Mounts was arrested by police in Selma, accused of multiple felony charges, including online impersonation and fraudulent use of identifying information. According to the arrest affidavit, Mounts is accused of meeting up with women that he matched with on Tinder. Then he would coerce them into giving him their password and cash app information. The affidavit says he would then transfer money to his own accounts. He is also accused of sexual assault and theft. And I was like, you cannot freak out. Like, you have to get out of this. Like, you have a daughter. Like we spoke with Christina Campos with Family Violence Prevention Services. She says that sexual assault and coercion have become increasingly common. It's very prevalent with adults, but with teens as well. One in four teens are experiencing abuse or harassment online through intimate partner relationships. Um, and we know that if somebody is experiencing online abuse, they are five times more likely to also experience sexual coercion. Campo says it's important for those who are looking to meet up with people online to remain cautious. If something feels off, it probably is. If you're meeting someone online and it seems to, too good to be true, it probably is. I should have listened to my gut, but I was like, you're just, you're just being paranoid. Um, I would say don't ever bring them back to your apartment. Ethan Trejo, News 4, San Antonio.